good morning so just a quick vlog to, well yeah just a quick vlog today just to show you what's going on we're expecting the well the chimney people are out there working and um i'll take you along one oh, tinks wants to say hello so i'm going to grab a cup of coffee and get this day started see the exposed brick in our kitchen it's a tiny kitchen though but it's pretty cool bella says good morning good morning bella and we found a feather from the boxes is out out of a, like a decoration thing and they don't care anyways i thought i'd kind of do a vlog style on how my crafting room is coming along mm. so just bear with me oh i do have my radio on hopefully it doesn't pick any of that up so here's my paper yeah i put a video out on that and this stuff, um, uh, like that's stuff to sell. That's stuff to sell. And that's extra paper I just didn't want to throw away because it's just wasteful. So I'll just use it to wrap up stuff that I take up to the attic. And then, um, let me show you something here real quick. I have a whole box. A whole bag, should I say. I mean, okay, let me ask you this. Is anybody else here... One of those people that say, oh, I can make something out of that. Crafty, out of that, I will save it. Well, I'm one of those people. We got curtains at Walmart. Well, let me show you. They're up on the windows. And I thought, wouldn't that be cool to make a journal out of that? It already has a, a good bent spine. It would be small. I didn't cut those off yet. I figured these could be cut off. And, um, yeah, probably. I mean, I haven't thought about much about it, but, you know, just, like, put paper on it. So I have a bunch of these. And then that would be, like, the perfect journal. Got that organized a little bit. Well, okay, I got it over there. I got to take the price tag off of it. But here's this mess. This is stuff for unpacking. Like, this is our personal stuff there. I did get a box almost unpacked. Has all of our, you know, important, like, medical, dental, um, stuff like that. Credit reports, you know, junk that you keep. And then after I get those out, this will be the next box to cook in the attic. Yay! So my intentions are to get this cleaned out. Move a unit, I'll show you the unit real quick. Move it over here because I think it's short enough to be underneath the thermostat. And then I can go from there and kind of, you know, if I have to stack stuff back in there. But a lot of this will be going up to the attic like this and that. Um, just, you know, attic's two step, two flights of steps. It tires you out. It's narrow. I don't think I've taken you into my attic yet. And then I have my basket that has magazines in it pair of shoes and there's my construction paper you know the paper packs you get at michael's that are different colors i have some books and file folders and stuff like that over there in my little junk journal scrap bag that used to sit beside my desk and you see it you know it's just just stuff everywhere so i did move this over i think i may have showed you that and I'm in love with those little baking cups. <sighs> Every time I go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx and they have a cute design, I pick some up. And I have plans for those. I want to try to make the spackle cupcakes. And I'll do a video on that. And then um, whatever else I might have over there. Stuffs. And here's my desk. Uh, craft supplies. Oh, I want an auction box, a mystery box, the auction for five bucks. And it had all these salt and pepper shakers in it. And it had something else in there because I'm thinking I'm going to make a lot. Oh, it had these little bears. So I think I'm going to make a lot with the salt and pepper shakers. And they have some there, just one, one of them. 
And then I have all these little bears. I don't know. I don't know if anybody would buy them. Maybe I'll put them in a yard sale because I do have a yard sale box as well. Little wooden one. Oh, I have a, a set of the wooden. They say, what does that say? It's so hot in here. Greeter Pittsburgh Airport. Oh, Greater Pittsburgh Airport. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's what's in this box. I just wanted to get them out of the way because I wanted to get that box they came in. Well, that's where all this paper came from. They were wrapped around the salt and pepper shakers. I was just trying to get the box out of the way. And then this is all crafty stuff. What else? So I'm just kind of like doing a, a vlog style. What's happening? I got this at Hobby Lobby. And they are, you know, and they stopped doing their coupons. But this is a... 10 pack, right? Yeah. 10 pack of the memory keeper. So that's less than a dollar. And when I open a setup, I kind of like to keep it together. So I got those, a Hobby Lobby. And my nearest Hobby Lobby is a half hour away, which is about the same where it was last place I lived. So it doesn't matter. I just don't go often. And so, you know, like when I try to group like sets together or if I'm working in a set, and I know I have like miscellaneous half sets. I think these storage bags, I don't know where I got them at. But they're the big Ziploc. I probably got them at Walmart. Who knows? Um, and of course, if I order anything online, it comes with the bag. I keep it. And now I can't get it in there. That's going to fall. I'm so sweaty that when I touch plastic, it sticks to me. Okay, giving up. Up oh, there it goes. Mark's Medicine comes in these Ziploc baggies, and I just remove the, the label off of it. And then I got another Ziploc bag that holds paper. I got some fabric there I got from Ally Express and from Joann's. I can't get anything back in. Uh, I need to get a box fan. So, fabric from... Oh, no, not Joanne's. This was Walmart. So, it looks like a newspaper print. I thought that would be great for background. And I just fell in love with this deep red color. And then these are from... Ally Express. How cute are those going to be on a journal? Christmas journals. And there's a couple other designs in there. But oh, that is darling. And the only thing is I have to make sure the English is correct. Because a lot of times you'll get like misspelled letters and stuff. Hopefully they just kind of copied them from old vintage cards. So stuff to sell, stuff to sell. Oh, you got it. Stuff to sell. Oh, I took the plastic off of this one, but not this one yet. I figure I might do one of those shorts where, you know, the ASMR shorts and see if anybody watches it, gets a kick out of it. See, it has that plastic feel. And then I have the plastic on that one yet, too. I put all my ribbons up there. So I got this stuff at a yard sale. And she was like, she put it in my bag. So it's, it's vintage, I believe, crepe paper. It sort of looks it. But it's in good shape. And I want to get, I think I'm going to get, um, uh, what is it? Oh, the name is escaping my mind. It's the, like, multi-blade scissors. Okay, someone help me out. Um, and that, that, you know, makes it. Like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, right? I know Martha Stewart sells a pair, but you can, they're like multi blades and they're not pinking shares, but there's something close to it. So I put my ribbon up there. I used to have my inks in my, yeah, my inks. And I think I'm going to put this somewhere else. Maybe, uh, you know, you know how you get like in your craft room and you start like rearrange, rearrange. 
So here is the unit I was talking about. Now it's going to go underneath my thermostat. And here's where all my six by sixes go. I have a box. I had to take them out. It was just too heavy to, to carry it. Everything else stayed in there. I wrapped it in plastic and we just moved it like that. And then more stuff. I had to do, actually do a video on this on my other channel, my Pick and Paul's channel. And then um, those are my yard sale boxes as I go through stuff. I throw them in there. And I want to have a yard sale in the fall. You have to get a permit here. I'll show you a tinks real quick. She's she's snoozing on the table and her look her she's about to go off the edge. Just about. And then there's the other. I'm sure the mailman probably thinks. Because we get our mail through a slot in the door. <laughs> he probably thinks, are they ever gonna unpack? It's been like this for months. I'm getting there, mailman. This stuff is actually was over here and it's been kind of pushed over as I go along. So if you're like me, you may have purchased many of those containers, the plastic containers that hold scrapbook paper and embellishments and things like that. It wasn't until I moved here, I didn't know I had so many. So I'm stacking them above my desk for now. And I think it'll be a good place. It'll be a good home for them. And what else can I show you? Ah, I'll try not to get the toilet in again. So let me know if you want like a um, open drawer tool, uh, tour, kind of something like that. I have a lot of stuff that I haven't looked at in a long time. And I really need to get myself in gear and get moving on crafting. I have a lot of Anna Griffin. Remember when she was at Tuesday morning? Her card sets. I have a good many of those. That was actually on clearance for embellishments. Everyday gift tags. The, these drawers are really nice. What I like about them, you can actually pull them out and take them with you. But if something is too high and it gets stuck in the back, well, then you're in trouble. Oh, my, there's my cavalini. Oh, I love cavalini. They make the best bags. But they're harder and harder to find. I don't know if they're going to keep making them or not. And I have some Tim Holtz Christmas. Oh, all these cards. I do have an Amazon store. I just haven't messed with it lately or drawn attention to it. These are the milk caps by Tim Holtz for Christmas. What is this? Tickets. Carnival tickets. Oh, that was Dollar Tree or Target. Flashcards holiday. I forget what I have until I start looking. There's more Cavallini. That is. I think that's Simple Stories. Yeah, simple stories, simple vintage Christmas, more Cavallini. Cause I, when I see it, I get it. If it's at a good price, some of them are not at a good price. But is that gonna close? We'll see. Yeah. Oh, oh this is Tim Holtz, isn't it? Yeah. Vellum scenes. So much I buy online because in a, I don't know what it looks like. So I end up buying two of them just in case I really like it. And then I'm, you know, not going to be able to get it because they'll be sold out. So that's what I end up doing a lot of times. All my little notepads. Those are Michaels. Yeah. You know, and they usually have their day after or their open Christmas or Thanksgiving. I think they were closed last year. They've been closed the past couple years, but they used to be open on Thanksgiving and they had really good deals. 
and um, coupons and stuff. Oh, I got, oh that's sparkly. That's from uh, Target. Got these little daubers, sponge daubers, and cat hair. Cat hair on everything. What happens when you have the chimney people in your house? Yeah, that happens. Look at the salt. Oh my gosh. I wiped down the chair in this corner of the table. I'm going to have to go through and clean everything again. Everything. <sighs> but we'll get some resolution to this and it will be done. Look at that. Ah. Oh, ah. Well, good news. Got everything cleaned up. And mopped the floors and wiped down all the surfaces because it was like a, a soot bomb that kind of fell out of the chimney. chimney. And I know I got to put my Santa sleigh away, but um, I did get a little bit of 4th of July out. But I also wanted to show you real quick. I'm getting ready to feed Bella some snacks. So these are at Walmart. They have her corn and meow made. Can you tell Bella likes the purr corn? So I'm gonna give her some snacks and we're getting ready to go out and have some dinner and Tings is around. So good news on the cleanup of the mess. So today is Tuesday, June 14th in my choppy together vlog I'm making here. You can see the strawberry moon. It is a full moon tonight. Let me see if I can focus in on this. Whoa. Stepping on everything in my socks. Uh, there, it just peeked away. Now I gotta go back to see it again. Okay, maybe a better view from here. Between the tree limbs. So anyways, yep. And here's the garden. <laughs> I do not have a green thumb. And the lady that owned this house before us, well, she had something going on. I think she was going for like the English cottage look, if I had to guess. So, I guess I'll go ahead and wrap this vlog up here. So, you got to peek into my life, what's happening. And that's it for now. <laughs>